This morning's video is brought to you with Jaden, our sales expert, the ultimate sales expert. The question was, how do you handle rejection? Um, we just did some sales enablement with some professionals. They're not sales people, but they're in customer facing roles and therefore able to influence the sale. And obviously in my world, everyone is in sales. So I feel like the best person to answer this is Jaden. Um, there's two ways you deal with it. One is the determination of a two year old who never says no. Jaden, are you the ultimate salesperson? No, I'm not. You're not? Do you accept no for an answer? No, I did. Yeah, do you understand no? Okay, so there's two parts of this for me. One is not everyone is the ideal client. So sometimes no is okay. And to be honest, we don't wanna work with people who aren't the right client because then it's not gonna be a good result for them. It's not gonna be a good result for us. It's not a good result for anyone. If we do think it's the ideal client and we genuinely think we can help them and so on. Um, I love Carol Dweck's approach, um, who was the founder of the concept around growth mindset and fixed mindset. And Carol Dweck talks it being not yet. And it's a no for now. Um, and so what we know is actually clients typically will say no several times before they then go on to say yes. And so for me, it's having the sheer determination of a two-year-old um, that keeps you going. It's accepting that sometimes no is for the right reason and not the right client and that that's a good thing for both parties. And when we do think it should be a yes, it's having the determination that Jaden has.